Hello and welcome to SC Monday Night Cinema. Hi there. Welcome to the SC Entertainment Monday Night Cinema. It's like, it's like if there was one TV show that is the best show, it's this one. Because I'm on it, I'm your host, nobody has a problem staring at me. It's happened my whole life. People look at me in terror, in joy, they just, they love staring at my schnozola. And uh, so I'm your host. So basically, thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching my show. Uh, we're gonna watch a movie that I made. It's called The Ghost Tank. We're on, on to part 10 already. Can you believe it? It's been 10 weeks of this show. But we're, we're, st we're still trucking on. Keep on trucking, as they said in the in the swing in 60s and um in part 10 the chief okay the chief of police he's a he's a lovely character that um, was created many moons ago he is played by my son kelton kolodichuk and uh to he is um i raised the boy to be quite the dynamic actor and in this this part of the ghost tank he has a monumentally beautiful meltdown and uh i hope like look for that that'll make you happy and uh the truth okay this is the truth about charlie is finally revealed so i hope you enjoy the show i uh, i made it for you i made it with love i made it with love in my heart thinking about you watching the show and uh Enjoy it, man. It's the ghost tank. It's a great movie. Okay, enjoy yourself. Good night. Roll the film. Deputy Sidra! That scrapbook son of a bitch is all over this town murdering people left and right. And those goofballs, Charlinka and Beatrice, they're on some ghost chase. I need those idiots to get to those murder scenes and do their goddamn jobs! Agreed, Chief. It's a shame there's absolutely no other officers that could possibly do this. Who's agreeing now? It's me, with you. Damn them and their special talents. If only I would have kept that cloning machine. E excuse me, sir? Just you never mind. Now go get me a stack of hot cakes before I fire your ass. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be Pete Glossy, would you? Yeah, that's me, and you're the detectives who are trying to solve my murder, right? Well, yes, but how did you know? Well, actually, I was there in my house when you found my body, but you couldn't see me then. I guess something happened, and now I'm a real person again. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Well, I can guarantee that you're here with us now, but unfortunately, you're still definitely dead. I, I don't understand. What my dearest and oldest friend is trying to say is that you are in fact a zombie. Oh, do, do you think my body will deteriorate? Not if I can perfect my latest invention, the formaldehyde smoothie. Casey, I'm so happy to see you. I was back in the ghost tank and all of a sudden I was solid and you went there and I, I didn't know what to do. It's all good now, except you are a bit 
cold and clammy and devoid of all life. Okay, easy there. I'm not devoid of feelings, you know. It was I that brought you back, and we need your help to catch your murderer. Okay, but who are all you guys? I'm Beatrice, and this is my partner Charlene Ka, and this is Pete's brother, Charlie. No, that's not my brother. I haven't seen this man before in my life. That's right. I'm not your brother. No, nobody move a muscle. Well, who are you? I come from the future, and I needed to find out what was happening with my plan. You were an unexpected death, Pete, and I wanted to find out why. Do you know something about these murders? I know everything about these murders. I am responsible for these murders! Are you the killer? You fools! I've been using Scrapbook to kill a specific group of people who are responsible for wrecking humanity! So you're from the future, and you're using a ghost of a serial killer from the 1980s to kill innocent people in order to save the world? Yes! I am a hero! Maybe you should tell us a little more about what happens in the future to necessitate such an extreme solution. In the future, a portal is built that leads to another world trillions of light years away from Earth. Soon, Earth is overrun by these aliens. Do they all invade us? And kill us all? In, in a way. They come here and take our job and mate with our people and create new disgusting half-breeds and many humans go to the alien world and procreate with them as well. The whole thing is disgusting and I'm here to make sure it stops before it starts. Scrapbook's mission is to kill all the people who are responsible for the creation of this portal. Oh, I get it. You're just a filthy racist from the future. I'm a humanist and I want to keep our planet free of these beasts. But Pete here wasn't on that list of people Scrapbook was meant to kill. So, so I came to investigate. C-Rock 106 plays today's most rockin' music. Now where's my cash? Feature speaking. Not now, Chief! Do you really think that you could control the maniac ghost Scrapbook? Seriously, I don't have time for freaking racists. Put your hands up. of some kind. All zombies and civilians stay here. Beatrice, let's go get this time-traveling piece of bigoted humanist garbage. A chocolate. Let's jelly roll. Well, this is an unlikely turn of events. What do we do now? Gonna have to go back to the lab and come up with some kind of a plan. <laughs>